Good morning everybody. Today we're going to start off the morning a little bit different. This is something I haven't really talked about on this channel at all. Uh, I talked about it one time, but that was months ago. I'm heading into town to grab some meds for something that I'm going through, which is reactive arthritis. This reactive arthritis thing, I'm still not over it all the way yet. The medicine that I'm on seems to be working pretty good, but uh, I'm out of medicine right now, so I have to go refill my prescription. But anyway, it has probably been one of the hardest things I've had to go through in my young adult life yet so far because, you know, when you're healthy, you don't really think about the small things, but when you get arthritis throughout your whole body and you can barely move and walk around and you can't do the things that you love to do, like farm work, there was a period of time where I couldn't do the things I usually could, and that drove me nuts. It really puts things into perspective as far as life goes. And I'm glad that I'm st starting to feel better a little bit, but I might have to take medicine the rest of my life for this disease, if you want to call it a disease, or I could take medicine long enough for my inflammation levels to go back to normal, and then I will just get off the medicine and see how I act. But all I know is I'm, I'm hurting pretty bad right now because I don't have them. So I'm gonna go get them, take them, and then we're gonna go get those mats put in that new barn and start getting some baby pigs. I'll see you guys when we get up to the building. So it's bright and early. As you can see, the room is dry. So that's good. We're almost up to temperature. I think it's about 78 in here now. We're gonna warm it up to about 80. See if that is warm enough. When you're trying to heat a barn that's brand new and your pit is empty and all of your concrete is cold, you can get your air temperature up, but of course your walls are cold, so we might have to bump it up a little more than that to make it feel warm enough for the pigs. Now, with the brooder heaters, that'll really help because that direct heat on the slats will heat those slats up and then they'll radiate heat out and help warm the floor, but we'll just have to see. I started the feed line. Well, I thought I started the feed line. My breakers are not labeled right because what I thought was the north breaker is actually south, so I shut off the south one. And we only want to fill the south feed line today because we're only getting about 350 pigs. So it takes lots of trips. So I'm going to shut that breaker off. I'm going to turn that breaker on. There we go. First ration came yesterday afternoon. I'll start augering it in and fill in this row of feeders. I'm gonna shut off one tube till we figure out how much we actually can get in these feeders. I'm only gonna fill with one tube. That way when we get over to the other side, we don't run out of feed before we get all the feeders full. And if we get them all full, then we'll go back and open them and see whether we can get every feeder clear full out of our allotment of feed. So, because we only get one shot of this first ration, so we want to make sure that we get everybody enough. There wasn't any bolts or glass or aluminum cans or anything that like that in our feed. Because sometimes when they shove the augers, Lord only knows what's in the bottom of the bin. So, there's our first ration. It looks good. It smells pretty good. So we're on our way. We're going to let them fill up. So while I was getting my prescription, Dad went ahead and he started filling the feeders up full of feed. He put the red snap in so where, where they need to be. He got the mats dragged in for this side. We just got to drag the mats in on that side. And um, we'll be all set and ready to go for the piggies. We got all the mats in, so all we gotta do now is put them in place. But before we do that, we're gonna pick up this pallet of bag feed, and we're gonna bring in all the bag feed that we use to start pigs off right. We decided to get a little bit smarter on how we do this. Well, this, this benefits me more than it benefits Dad, but we used to just take the skid loader, lift up the pallet, and put it right here, and then I would have to pick up each bag and bring it inside. But 
we're getting smarter and dad's gonna put the pallet in the back of my truck and then we'll back the truck up that way we both can grab bag feed together and he doesn't just sit in the skid loader because if you just use the skid loader the person in the skid loader the boom will raise high enough that they can't open the door so the person just sits in there and watches the other person uh bringing the bag feed you're not getting off the hook anymore dad you're gonna help me help me out here oh he's gonna be pissed oh he's gonna be pissed <laughs> Now you see they switched the material of the bags. They used to just be all paper bags. And that made it a lot nicer because they wouldn't slide off as much or slide off ever. Now they're sliding off so much because they're made out of slippery plastic. You bastard. He's giving up on that deal. He's just gonna make me pick every bag up. He's using the excuse of the bags being too slippery for me. One pallet down, another one to go. But this next one I don't think is gonna be as full as that one. And it'll be in the truck, so I'll have dad to actually help me this time. Just got a call from the truck driver. He said he should be here in about an hour. He's bringing 398 head. So it's gonna be a pretty easy day. I'm just really, really hoping those bags do not fall out of that truck. Come on. What do you think about the new bags? I think that I would like to get a hold of the person that decided that that was a good idea and spend some quality time with them here in the hog building and let them stack them and carry them and try to get them to stay on a pallet. They, that's a joke. That's like. Well, that was a bit of a cluster because first of all, we forgot to put the gate back. When we were dragging in mats, we drug them out of that door and we drug all the ones for this side and then we drug all the ones to over to that side. So we flipped that end gate so it was open so we could run to the other side. And we forgot to shut that. So we had pigs running all the way on this other side. The alleyway isn't blocked off when that gate's swung that way. So there was pigs in the alley. So I was running around trying to get the pigs back. And then right as I got all the pigs back to the side where we wanted to count them on and put them on, dad tells me that the truck driver doesn't know how many pigs he's let off the truck. And he was supposed to go to another site first and drop off the certain amount of number to fill that building full. And then whatever was left, he was supposed to come here and drop them off. But he came here first and he I don't know what he thought. Maybe he thought it was going to be easier. He let 411 off and he told me on the phone when he called me that we were getting 398. So you're not going to run pigs back onto a truck because that's not very biosecure. So we got 411 and we're going to count them, thin them out evenly, put about 55 pigs to a pen. That was not the start I was really hoping for, but that's the start we were given. So we're going to roll with the punches and count these pigs. We thrive on chaos. Last little group of pigs right here. What do you guys guess? I'm guessing 32. No, I'll guess 29. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
Wow, I should have kept my first answer. All right, so now that we've got all the pigs in and counted, we're gonna feed them, but before we do that, we're gonna get the rest of this bag feed in. That way it's just done and out of the way. Strawberry goodness. I think you should have a bowl. You might really like it. What are you spreading there? Barracuda. So this is like a, this is like candy for pigs. Pretty much, it's, it's a lot of sugar and it's a lot of milk. Uh, it might have a little bit of milled rolled oats in it. I don't know for sure if it does. But it tastes really, really good and it's it's just kind of an enticer so we'll put some in the feeder and a little on the pad we won't put any on the mat or in these round feeders because we want the pigs to associate the good taste of this with going to that feeder and we'll do it morning and night and we'll do it for three days in a row and then we stop because it tastes so good that by the third day some of them get smart they'll wait till we throw it in the feeder and you don't want them to get that hooked on it so well that's all the work we really got to do in here um if we would have got more pigs it would have took a little bit more time but 411 or 412 isn't a whole lot so just got to feed them get them started good got all the feed out where we want it to be so now we just kind of wait and we'll come back and probably feed them tonight and see how they're doing how do you feel pops it's close to noon and the fat kid needs to eat i can feel I can feel my blood sugar getting too low, so I need a snack. And then I'll feel inspired to do something else more productive. But I've done enough this morning. I'm ready. I'm ready to sit down and have a bite to eat. My thoughts are it's crazy to see how far we've come. It feels like yesterday we just started this thing and now we have pigs in it. And it's a real nice shed. And I think these pigs are gonna do really well in here. And I'm excited. I'm, a, I'm officially my own pig farmer. I've got my first taste of farming with this building, and it's, it's really cool. So You're officially broke. I'm officially you indebted for start life. Shoveling, you can start shoveling the whole back shed again. I wouldn't want it any other way. So, Cheers to bacon.